So the next thing I'm going to look at is how you go about slicing your files. Uh, now you've really got two choices here. You can use MakeAware which comes from MakerBot um, or you can use the open source Replicator G. Now MakerAware is a product that's designed to simplify everything so that you can just put your, organize your um, parts and print them. Whereas Replicator G is more of something that you can tweak and in my experience MakerAware um, allows you to reliably print uh, and slice quickly um, medium resolution objects. So even using Miracle Gru down to say about 0.15 of a mil um, uh, or you know 0.2 is um, quite acceptable and you'll get good results. It'll slice quickly, it'll print well. Um, but if you want to get right down to 0.1 layer heights, um, I think that Replicator G just consistently gives you better results and it's easier to tweak the SkinForge preferences in Replicator G than it is in MakerWare at the moment. I'm sure that's going to change in future, um, but right now that's the case. And the other big issue is that SkinForge, because it runs under Python, runs incredibly slowly under MakerWare, whereas if you can install PyPy, which is a um, compiling optimizer for Python, um, SkinForge runs five to ten times faster. It's really an enormous difference and it's well worth doing. Um, so I run uh, PyPy with Replicator G on my Mac and, uh, and yeah, the results are consistently um, way, way, way faster for doing 0.1 um, prints. Probably about the same, probably a little bit slower than Miracle grew in MakerWare, but that kind of performance. So it really makes a huge difference. So some of you may feel a bit intimidated by Replicator G. There's a lot of settings and a lot of things to learn, uh, and it's true. Uh, but once you've got it dialed in, and I've got some profiles online where we're getting pretty close to getting uh, the kind of results that work for everybody. Uh, once you've got it dialed in, you really don't have to change very much other than the filament diameter. So one of the things I said earlier, of course, is that the filament diameter really is just a starting point. Uh, you've really got to be able to look at your print and look at the quality that's coming out and diagnose whether the diameter that you measured and entered is actually right. If you're putting out too much plastic, you'll have to increase the diameter slightly and it can be uh, by small amounts, like 0.02 of a millimetre, can make quite a difference in the print quality. It's, it's quite amazing. Um, and if it's really out, you probably need to go like 0.05 um, of a mil in order to correct a serious problem with too much plastic. And so what I tend to do is, um, once I've got a setting I'll actually that, that's working for me, um, for a particular reel of PLA, um, I've got a paint marker which um, is here, which will write on just about anything. Uh, and so I write on the reel the dimensions that work. And if it's no, if, if that was the measured dimension and it's no good and I actually need to correct it, I'll cross that out and, and write on the corrected one. Um, so that uh, when I'm printing, um, I don't have to keep um, stuffing around trying to actually find the, the actual diameter that I should be using to, in order to get reliable prints. So if you've got parts that you want to print regularly and you want to print them in different colors, one of the problems you're going to run into is of course that you've got to have different diameters, filament diameters, for different colors for those parts to print reliably. So when you're um, exporting that X3G file to the SD card, I would figure out what your basic filament diameters are in, in the filament that you've got. So mine for instance are about 1.8, 1.75 and 1.7. That pretty much covers the range. Uh, what I would do is I would export the X3G file, slice to each one of those diameters and actually add that number to the file name so that when you pull it up in, uh, on the MakerBot, uh, you can choose the right file to run for the particular filament that you've currently got loaded. Uh, otherwise, you've got to 
basically run at each time, which I think can get a bit annoying.